Oh my god, it is boring rain. Good morning, gorgeous angels. Welcome back to my channel, to a new vlog. Night two of being in this house it was a success. The sun's finally coming out, as you guys saw in the clip just two seconds ago. It was pouring, which is so funny because the day we came to look at this house, it was pouring rain and now our first actual day in this house, it was pouring rain, but the sun's coming out. Or at least I really hope it is because I desperately need to do some washing and I need Clay to take his bloody tarp off the clothesline. But um, a couple other things I really want to get done today. Some personal hygiene. This hair is, I mean, I think you can genuinely see how freaking greasy this hair is. Like I really need to wash it. I really need to do my nails today. Also, I obviously need to unpack the house today. So much stuff in boxes. Um, we had a little bit of progress last night. This is really it. I set up my vanity. That is literally all that I did last night, I think. Um, but this morning, we really need to go to Bunnings. This house doesn't have a pantry, so we want to see if we can get something like a cheap little cupboard just to put our food in for the meantime until we obviously start renovations. Um, and also need to go to Woolies to get actual food because I've just been getting Wally's food, which has been amazing, but like we don't have like eggs and things like that. So I really need to go out and pick up some essentials, get a lot of stuff from Bunnings. And I figured I would vlog today because why not? Like these few like first days in this house are days that we're not going to get back. So it, I don't know. I just figured I'd vlog it. It's going to be really fun one day to look back. At these memories but um yeah so excuse my appearance in advance i'm really sorry for the way that i look like crap all the time lately but uh, i'm gonna pop a jumper on because it's freaking freezing and i guess i'll see you guys when we either get to bunnings or get to woolies or something i don't know might even just see you guys back home we'll see what the situation is in town oh my god i literally feel like i look like an egg hello <laughs> oh my god is this real life <laughs> is this actually real life Hold on. What? What do we do? Um, just one thing of maybe the double length. Oh my god. How is that real? That's outstanding. Good work. Woolies coming through. Wow. Outstanding. We are really having a win in here this morning. Omo's half price. They've got pineapple clean wipes. They've got toilet paper. Like what? What's going on in here? Oh, light bulbs. Oh, light bulbs. Oh, we're getting light bunnings, do you think? Uh, yeah. 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 I think bunnings will be cheaper. Oh, I don't know. Are any of them on special? I'm really impressed. Yeah, it looks like normal in here. This is bloody amazing. Oh, finally. I'm so happy. We are now in bunnings. Gonna suss some door locks because one thing that was like <laughs> super alarming to me. When we first moved in, the lovely lady from next door came over with her elderly husband and they were like, oh, side note, we have a key for this house. And I was like, what? <laughs> anyway, I basically died. I probably overreacted. Not I like, <laughs> not like rudely. I was like, oh, really? Like, anyway, long story short, the lovely old man came back over again the, that same afternoon and brought Clay over a hedge trimmer, which is adorable, but still didn't bring over that key that they mentioned that they had. And I was like, Clay, we need that key before we leave here tonight. I'm just not going to sleep. Like, anyway, long story short, we got the bloody key, but I'm like, who else has the key to this place? Ideally, we'd change all the bloody locks, but that's just not doable financially. That's bloody expensive. But anyway, want to get a deadlock and uh, a bunch of stuff from here. All right, looking at the makeshift pantries. They don't seem that bad. They really don't seem that bad. Two adjustable shelves, one fixed shelf. I quite like this. Oh wait, that's three doors. Why is a three door one? Oh, it's a wardrobe. Wait, they're not actual shelves. I'm confused. All right, another little thing on our list. A fan oh, times about four. I don't know how many we're gonna need, but 
I'm a gal that likes to sleep with the fan on. What about <laughs> check out this metal one with like the one, two, three, four, five, six. Wooden, wooden ones, the black ones. I think the wooden ones are really bloody cool, but $79. literally, there's literally no point. Wait, what? Seventy nine dollars? This dark one? What? No, that's a top one. That's proper gross. <laughs> Um, yeah, again, it's sort of just like a temporary thing until we can start That's renovations. This little three-pronged thing that looks like it's going to catch on fire here. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. So these ones here are the ones that we had in our old place and we never had literally any issues with them. So I think we're going to go for these again um, and just put in like actual normal switches because we had those really weird like remotes in our old place. I don't know if you guys could ever really see them, but I think we're gonna do these ones, but not today. I just can't figure out why you would ever need a toilet seat with a print on it, like. <laughs> anyway, you guys missed the last vlog. You wouldn't know that my wardrobe completely snapped in half, basically. <laughs> so we're just grabbing a new little steel rod, some supplies for fowls on to fix it. Lucky you're married to a little tradie over here, hey? Wanna be. Wanna be. We're back home. Um, I think I wanna try to put on a sneaky load of washing, but at the same time, these clouds, I just don't know if it's worth it and I don't wanna have to hang it inside because it's already freaking me out with all the crap that we still need to put away that's just laying around everywhere in here. But I thought I'd show you guys what we picked up from Bunnings and what we picked up from Woolies. Not a whole lot, but it's a little bit of excitement for my day. These are ridiculously good and they were on special so we grabbed some because I'm all about that convenience life lately now apparently. Some eggs, some bacon, um, some fabric softener. This is the one that I like to get all thanks to my sissy Sam because Kawa always smells like this and it's just amazing. Please don't mind clay fowls on, on the bloody multi-tool out in the garage. This is what I live with now apparently. Also picked up some more vanilla almond milk. This is what I put in my tea and it is amazing. Some Dettol bathroom spray, some Pino Clean multi-purpose cleaner, some more washing powder because it was half price, Pino Clean wipes, and then from Bunnings, a bunch of boring stuff. Some microfiber cloths because hello, look at this packet and look at all the colors, how pretty. Some boring screws, some ant killing stuff, some light bulbs and some power boards. Very exciting. Just hung my first load of washing on the clothesline. I'm very happy about it. I don't know where this stuff was earlier, but we also got a deadlock for the front door and a bunch of these like felt um, like clothes hangers because for some reason these are sold out everywhere at the moment, but I really needed some. So got a few of those and here is the pantry, which Clay's gonna be putting here. Fingers crossed this works out well. All right, Clay versus pantry. Round one. Good luck. Uh. All right, we have progress. We have Oh, a dead battery apparently. All right, so we were gonna put the pantry here, but it just really was not a vibe. It felt like it was gonna fall over being on this carpet. So Clay's taken one of these chairs, put them into his little study. Um, we hung this back up on the wall with our little Groot because he's good luck. The pantry's over in the kitchen, which is an absolute mess right now. So please just ignore that. I swear I'm the tidiest person in the world, but this, whole process of moving has just killed me anyway yeah so our little um temporary pantry is just hanging out here we still haven't put the food in there um lounge room is pretty much done put everything away in the cupboards clay's outside no going to town on that the good. giant pineapple looks we have in the front yard you gotta leave it like that like <laughs> you've got to give it character I like him. Yeah. He's very cute. I think he's cute. I like our Christmas tree. 
Okay, I like the Christmas tree too. <laughs> it's not going. Clay, it's not going. Exactly, it's staying there. Um, Clay has done his study, looking good. Oh my God, he's ripping all the plants out. Wow, Clay, what the hell? That's hectic. <laughs> okay, he's pulling all the plants out. Um, yeah, Clay's study is pretty much done. And uh, our bedroom is pretty much done. All coming together. Clay put the new rail in, thank God. I still haven't finished this room. But we're very slowly getting there. It's just been such a freaking blur. But I've had enough for one day. So I'm going to make Dawn and I a little bit of a cheese board. Pour some champagne. And we're just going to hang out and... Uh, relax for like the first time all day i still haven't gotten to wash my hair oh my god that's all my list of things to do tonight but i am literally just exhausted anyway yeah gonna make a cheese platter and pour us some champagne and i'm so keen for it how about this lighting situation like what is with the awful overhead lighting in this house <laughs> hello gorgeous friends it is many many hours later it's nearly 10 to 7 actually yeah it's basically seven o'clock um i just got done making dinner in our little kitchen again tonight tonight i did another marley spoon recipe these have been my lifesaver lately like i've said i think it was in the weekly vlog that i did last week um this is not sponsored at all i just have really been enjoying their meals especially with how busy we've been on the last few days um this has really helped so tonight is smoky chicken burgers with slaw and sweet potato wedges very excited about it just toasted the buns the wedges is still in the oven chicken is fresh off the barbecue we've got the slaw ready to go and now we're just going to serve it up i'm so actually keen for this i can't even tell you <laughs> sorry but can we just take a moment to appreciate how actually amazing this looks minus the fluorescent light <laughs> but this looks incredible yum i honestly feel like the past couple of vlogs i know i i warned you guys that i was gonna look like death but I didn't really think that I would look actually this bad. Anywho, updates. Let's face the window so that we're not just a black figure. Um, it is the next day. It's about five o'clock. I just finished work for the day, even though I literally look like I've been in bed all day. Um, Sky and Dawn came over today because Clay has gone back to work. So it's just me in this little old house. Um, and they are literally lifesavers you guys look at the progress we have here the kitchen is still a bit of a mess but we actually have a extremely organized pantry happening like hello hello i don't even know how they got all that to fit in there and it's so tidy they went through everything as well check the expiry dates and just I just love them so much. I, they did not have to do that. And it's just freed up so much time for me. So they did that while I was working today. Excuse me banging things. Um, and she also, by she I mean Dawn, came out here and picked up and moved and put away all the crap that we had on the floor pretty much. So there's just a bunch of alcohol that doesn't have a home. Some containers and things that I still need to put away. Um, it actually was a really rainy day, like all day, but the sun's just come out this afternoon. I love that I'm saying that and the sun's literally going down, but <laughs> um, I put all the washing over there this afternoon. Let's just ignore that. Yeah, I don't know. I pretty much just came on here to close out the vlog. It is incredibly cold outside, but I think I want to go for a walk to the beach. I need to show you guys the beach because it was literally just there. Like I thought it was close. And then last night, Clay and I went for a walk to the beach and found this little alleyway thing. I can't even, lit I literally wish that I could take you guys down there like on the walk, but obviously can't do that. <laughs> Most people aren't crazy stalkers, but there's about 2% of people that are unfortunately crazy stalkers. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for this vlog. I am bashing my camera into the window now, so... 
I am going to finish this up here. Um, there's not much else in the way of house updates. I still haven't finished unpacking my filming room or anything like that. I actually washed my hair this morning, which I'm very happy about. Still haven't done my nails, but um, yeah, I think this week I'll finally have some time for myself again, which will be nice because it feels like for the past like month, even though it's probably only been a couple weeks, I feel like it's been forever since I've just had time to chill out and just do my own thing, even though everyone's been in isolation. So that literally makes no sense, but yeah, that is gonna be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for all the love on our empty house tour, seeing our little old home. I can't wait to make it into something really, really great. And I'm so happy that you guys are here on this journey with us. We just literally, I can't even tell you guys what you all mean to me. Like, you guys are literally my world. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that everyone's doing well. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to stop talking. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye.